gentleman from Florida is recognized. Mr. Speaker, I yield two minutes to the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Chabot. The gentleman from Ohio is recognized for two minutes. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the gentleman for yielding. As ranking member of the Asia-Pacific Subcommittee, which has jurisdiction over China, I rise today in strong opposition to the America Competes Act, which should really be called the America Concedes Act. After decades of inaction, it's high time we reevaluate our basic approach towards engagement with China. On every front, the Chinese Communist Party is aggressively challenging the free world and the premise that open societies and free markets and the rule of law logically result in a prosperous and equitable civilization. The CCP's ambitions have thrust us into a new Cold War that we did not start and we do not want, but which we must win. Because if we fail, the Chinese Communist Party will replace the post-World War II order with one that revolves around Beijing. This moment calls for bold policies to ensure that we win this struggle. On this score, today's legislation is woefully deficient. It's stuffed full of irrelevant provisions. The Foreign Affairs Committee section of the bill is a prime example. It fails to take advantage of serious tools like export controls and security assistance, and instead spends twice as much money on climate policy as it does on China-related matters. Democratic leadership has refused to even allow debate on Ranking Member McCall's serious amendment or on a package that I offered that includes 13 tough, relevant proposals crafted by subcommittee Republicans. We must take the Chinese Communist Party's threat seriously. If we don't, we're going to see China continuing to eat our lunch and steal our jobs. This democratic effort was an opportunity for bipartisanship and actually doing something that mattered. They blew it, let's face it, and that's most unfortunately, and therefore I have to encourage my colleagues to oppose their misguided legislation today. I yield back. The gentleman from Florida Reserve.